Hello everyone and welcome in one more live stream here in the page of the World of Wisdom and Spiritual Adventure. Today we are talking about the powerful habit of mindful focus. I will explain to you what it is and it is a habit that we should all build in our house because this habit of the mindful focus in our everyday life gives us great power. It will empower us to be able to achieve what we want. But it is not so simple to understand exactly what it is and to do it properly. First of all, there are many things we need to understand around it. And I will try to explain you the basic things so that you can actually start applying mindful focus in your everyday life after this live stream. Before we delve into the topic, I would like to ask you to share this video with your friends, share some love with us by clicking the like button if you believe that you received some value from these videos and I would like to know from where you are watching these videos, if you are watching this video from a replay please uh, write from where you are watching and interact with us. You can also ask your questions if you have some question in the comments below because in this way knowledge can be promoted it can, and can evolve. So greetings to the ones who are watching now live and to the ones who will enter and the ones who will see it after. First of all, let's start. Hello London. Hello Maria from London. So what is uh, mindful focus? What is this word? Okay, first of all I want to tell you that mindful focus is not concentration. The first thing we need to understand is the difference between concentration and mindful focus. Of course these are words. Concentration we understand what it means. But the word focus and concentration has a similar meaning, so we can be confused. But the, it is not the same. Concentration usually is concentration of the mind. Okay, which is one energy that it is part of our being, our, our mental energy, and many times our mental energy is dispersed. Okay, actually, the reason why we cannot concentrate our mind is because we don't know how to bring concentration into the next level which is the mindful focus. So mindful focus is an upgrade, the next level of concentration and it is key, necessary, otherwise concentration uh, arrives to tiredness if it cannot become mindful focus. Concentration we develop when we are children in the school, when we have to study for hours, to read the text. Concentration can be developed uh, in a sp through a spiritual practice when, for example, we focus on some symbols. We focus on a picture. People practice concentration by reading difficult books and practicing their mind or do some very subtle jobs with their hands that they need to focus their eyes, for example, and their attention to something. For example, somebody who is a doctor and wants to make a surgery, he needs to be very focused you know, when he's doing something which is delicate and subtle. If you would like to fix your watch, you need to be very focused. You cannot be absent-minded. Okay, so we understand what is the concentration of the mind. And it is important, it is very important. But it is not the key for a successful life. It is one ingredient, but it's not the key. So what is then mindful focus? Mindful focus is not concentration of the mind, is presence. It is being concentrated or focused, not mentally, but with all your being and your mind included, in the here and now, as it is called spiritually. So, 
you are focused, when you are mindful, mindful, mindfully focused, you are focused on what is going on generally in this moment around you. And this, for example, now I'm in the park, if I am present, meaning alert, aware, present of anything that is happening around me, then I am mindfully focused in the here and now. Of course, if here and now, in this moment, I'm doing something, like for example this video, I have to be mindful, like aware, meaning in a way focused, but not only mentally, with all my energy, with my awareness, I need to be focused on how I hold the camera, how I talk, some things to function, function properly, what I want to say, how I walk and so on, everything. Maybe a dog will be coming towards me. I need to be aware of it. I need to be aware generally of everything in this moment. So the more present you are, focused in the here and now, whatever this contains, the more you are mindful. This is like a kind of uh, understanding of life which has this name, mindfulness. Maybe many of you know this and I know some of you studying this as well. So, a person who wants to be mindful focused, let's say, and he wants to do something like a delicate work, he has to be focused his mind on what he's doing and he has to be aware also of what is happening inside of him at the same time. Okay, it's not enough to focus externally on something, one thing, this is concentration, but to be aware also of what is happening inside of you. For example, you may be focused on something, making some subtle job, in the same time you are thinking maybe you have problems and your mind is also worrying about what happened in your, with your family and you have to catch this because this may interfere with what you are doing. If you catch what you are doing and what is happening inside of you in the same time, then you start becoming present, mindful. Okay, so you are concentrated in the present moment and not only in one thing externally. Okay, focus usually it is when you are concentrated on one specific point. Mindful, mindful focus is when you are focused on everything. Okay, you are, it mean, means it, you are aware. So, the first thing you need to understand if you want to practice mindfulness is that you have to include as many points of concentration as possible. So it's not that you are focusing all your attention in one thing, but you are focusing your attention in multiple things. Of course, if something you are doing, for example, you need to be more focused on this. If, if I'm riding a, a motorbike, I have, of course, I shouldn't be focused in all individual things around me because then I may have an accident, I may miss that there is a hole in front of me. So I have to be focused of course more in how I feel my bike, how, what is happening in front of me, but in the same time to be aware of all the environment. So it means again I'm more present in general, so my attention is more present. Which brings us to the second point that I want to make. Generally one big benefit of this habit to be mindfully focused in your everyday life is that you will be able to solve the majority of your problems in life because the majority of the problems we have in life, like maybe 70 or 80 percent of these problems, are because of the way we think. It is out of our perception of this problems or situations. So, like many times the things that we call problems, it is our own suffering about some situations. Okay, and this happens because we are generally, we are used to live in the mind. We are used to live in the past or in the future. What does this mean? It means on the things that run after you, behind you, 
towards you, like your problems. The things you want to avoid, they come from the past. And the future is the things that you would like to have, like your desires. Okay, so a person who lives in the mind, thinking constantly about his problems, how to avoid them, and his desires, how to get what he wants, and his dwelling in this space, he's constantly thinking about all these things, is an enemy of the present moment. Yes, because if I'm here in this park and I'm in my mind thinking about some problems that I have and about some wishes that I have for the future, what I would like to have and so on, I'm not, I cannot be very present because I'm present in these thoughts more. And the problems that we have, the actual problems, they arise always in the present moment. So, when, for example, in this moment something will happen and it will take me out of my mind, I will start suffering. And this is the bigger problem of people. They don't want to live in the here and now, they want to live more and more in their minds, fighting uh, imaginary enemies, and problems that actually they never manifest the majority of them and living in fantasies about fairy tales about some things that could happen to them and so on this is why many people today play computer games to lose themselves in some imaginary worlds because this world the actual world that we live in needs you to be mindfully focused okay and not in your head so a person who will start practicing mindful focus, he start becoming friend with the present moment, with what is happening, and he will be forced to deal with the situations that happen to him, like in real life. Okay, so when something happens to you, the mindfully focused person, he gives all his attention to what is happening, what is real in this reality that we live externally, I mean. Okay. And of course, if you will be mindful, focused on what is happening, you will have to deal with it, because there is nothing else to do. If something happens to you, you have to deal with it. Or if it is something very bad and you have to run, you will run, like physically, I mean, you will run. Or otherwise, what the majority are doing, they are running intellectually. So they are I don't know, they're going to drink or take some drugs or start daydreaming to avoid the stresses of reality. They don't want to deal with reality. But the mindful focus helps us to become more present and because we are training ourselves to not lose ourselves in the mind, this forces us to start dealing with the things. Okay, because you cannot in the same time be mindful, focused in the present moment, in the here and now, in the same time avoiding the situations that arise if they are not what you would like them to be and start living more and more in the mind. This is incompatible. So mindful focus helps us to start dealing with what is, which is very powerful. Because it, this will make you able to become gradually more and more competent because competence and ability to manifest your dreams comes when you have the experience of dealing with life with real situations dealing with your problems and then facing them and then finding ways to transcend them to solve them and then you become able to solve problems to overcome difficulties and obstacles and then you become able to manifest things to act freely and achieve things. And then life becomes a manifestation of this power. So mindful focus, being present, dealing with what is, it is a very big benefit from this habit. And something else, the third point I want to make to motivate you is this. Because exactly the way to be mindfully focused in the here and now and observing what is happening to you all the time and be present, not lost in the mind, is bringing you out of the mind 
it is bringing you also in connection with this what is called in some tradition the energy of the present which is the energy of the real life so there is life that is unfolding in the real time this life that we are here now for example and the life that is unfolding in your dream okay in your thoughts so if you are dreaming thinking about something that you will do in the future or you could do and so on there is an energy that you are connected with the mental energy this mental energy and this energy of the real life that we live with the physical body that unfolds this energy that creates for example these trees the sun's energy the energy that dwells in the body this is the real life energy it is more strong more intense and more subtle and more powerful than the energy that you need to think this is why if you are doing something in real time you don't have space and time to think because for thoughts you need more space and time because the energy of the mind is slower you need to be isolated in some office in order to think yes and the people who are lost in their thoughts usually they are unable to live very much in the external world yes, maybe you have been some time in your life absent-minded and as you were walking you couldn't see even a column that is in front of you and you hit your head in some wall or you hit in some glass this has happened to me sometimes in the past and it can happen some moment if you are lost in the mind because when you are in this lower energy which is the mind to function because the mind works with this you are disconnected you don't have enough energy to be aware of the surrounding environment okay so by being mindfully focused and living in the present moment and not in your dreams or in your thoughts you start having more energy which brings you happiness and aliveness okay the more you live with the body and with the real world around you the more you interact in real time the more energy you have you can make an experiment use one week of your life to live every day outside from the house to go for a walk to talk with people to live like this in the external reality and then stop this and for one week go home and just watch movies play computer games daydream and you will see the difference after one week living in real external world you will be alive and many things happen you will have an, like experiences and many things you will be it will be more interesting your life and living one week with your tv or your computer you will be exhausted you will be depressed you will be low your energy will be low and you will feel like uh, miserable you will feel that you don't live actually you will feel loneliness and all this the feeling of loneliness that many people experience in the modern world is because of this kind of isolation people live more and more in their mind and less and less in reality of course some people now will think wait a minute alexander i have heard from many gurus or experts about the mind and so on that the mind is the most powerful energy how you tell me that if i of course the mind has a very powerful energy but this is not the average mind that we live when we are unconsciously thinking or when we are just focused mentally on something there is another part of the mind which is the higher mind let's say which is connected with a super consciousness or consciousness it is a part of the mind that Uh, gives you awareness which is actually the result of the mindful focus in the present because beyond that there is another level which is consciousness yes awakening of another higher part of the mind this higher part of the mind is beyond thinking and perceives directly things even mentally but without thinking because the thinking uses a lower energy than life the the consciousness uses more fast energy even than this external reality but there you have to arrive to this through living more 
not through thinking more. And in spirituality, many people make these mistakes and they think that they will become awakened by reading books only or by thinking all day, philosophizing and thinking and being in their head, thinking about spiritual things that they are trying to understand them intellectually and they think that because they know some theories or they believe in things now because they have put them in the mind, now they are really more wise and enlightened. Wisdom, real wisdom and enlightenment comes from being fully present, not by knowing a lot of things. This is what I wanted to tell you. If you want to really make this shift in your life, if you want to become mindful and to arrive to a place that you fully live and you are very present, I invite you to the most important event of our school, this trip to Peru that we are doing now, this October 26th of October until 15th of November. It is the most powerful event that you can experience in order to come out of your problems, out of the, like this torture of the mind and come in the present moment and become fully alive, solving your problems and knowing what you have to do. If you are ready for such a change in your life, if you are ready to close the door behind and live a, the life that you always wanted to live, to erase your past and to start a new life, I invite you to make this gift to yourself, to make this decision. Who can, of course, but if you can, I invite you to do it, to make this decision because this will be the best thing that happened to you ever. And it will help you not only now, but it will help you in ways that you cannot even imagine. Your life will take a different trajectory after that. Also, I invite you in a, to our school in general. We have the WOW Academy that we practice uh, this kind of work that brings us full in the present. And we have also an upcoming event in Romania uh, after this trip to Peru. I invite you also to this if you will not be able to come there. It is a very powerful, transformative event. Yes, take your life in your own hands and move from the mind to the mindful focus in your being, in the life that unfolds, in the life that you live, actually. Okay. I say goodbye to you from Isvor Park. We are fully present here and with you through this live stream. And I will see you all in the next live stream uh, this Saturday. In the other Facebook group, How to Manifest Your Dreams. So, I will see you then. I will put the link of the Peru trip under this video in a while. And take care of yourself. Remember the benefits of this amazing, powerful habit of mindful focus. Namaste. Bye.